on our mortals, Mortal T here, and as you can see, we're back on some more Immortals Phoenix Rising for yet another vault walkthrough guide, whatever. Now, as you can see by this one, this is meant to be a medium difficulty, and it kind of is. Uh, it's to do with like uh, matching and also like carrying stuff without this thing you're carrying getting destroyed or you taking damage. It's it's kind of different but I'm going to walk you through it and also on how to get your hands on like the hidden or optional chest that you can get. So as you can see right in front of me there are two buttons. If you activate both of these buttons as you can see it's going to spawn in these two boxes. Now if you also notice between these red barriers as you can see you can slightly make out that there's a box in there. Right, and if you come over to this one, you can slightly make out there's a smaller box in there. So, you want to grab the smaller box, come over here, and put it this side, like so. And then you're just going to activate the lever, it's going to boom, it's going to recognize that it is correct, and the crystal is going to light up. You're going to pick up the bigger box and put it to the right hand side, put it down, and then activate the lever. Barrier is going to come up, crystal is going to light up to recognize that it is correct. That's basically the premise of what is going on here. But it does get a bit more difficult. So we're just going to walk down the steps and we're going to get our next checkpoint. There is a place to heal if you took any damage. Yet again, we have got a left side and a right side. Right now, I'm going to tell you the left side to me is easier and the right right side is a bit harder so if we look in here you'll notice that there is a box in here but if you look closely just closely enough you recognize that it's not a wooden box and that is the important thing once you spawn this in you will notice that this is a wooden box now this wooden box can't go in there and it can't go over to the other side either because these are stone cubes or boxes so what you have to do, you have to pick this box up and take it along with you on your journey to where you actually put this box. But on the right hand side, you're going to have these dog heads or Cerberus firing uh, flame balls at you. And you have to kind of dodge these. You cannot allow for this box to break. Otherwise, you'll have to start again. So I do advise just to take your time. Don't try and rush this. Because if you do, you're going to make a mistake and you just don't want the ha that to happen. If you did take any damage, as you can see, there is a, a place to heal right there. There is also another box in there with a wooden box. But don't worry about that, that one. You want to worry about these dogs because they're firing two at a time. So make it pass. Go to the left-hand side. As soon as they fire, go past again. Again, unfortunately, you cannot run with these. If you do try and dash, it will automatically just drop the box, so don't do that. And then we just want to pick up this box, hop up here, and hop up here. There are single jumps, so don't worry. You can get the checkpoint, also a place to heal, but we are going to put this wooden box in here, and then we're going to activate that lever right there. Once that lever is activated, it's going to give you the ability to press this button. But if you slightly saw that, the optional slash hidden chest is actually right here. It's kind of out in the open. Maybe if your camera doesn't kind of angle that way, you might miss it. But it is there. Once you have got the hidden slash optional chest, we're going to go back to the button and we're going to activate it. This is now going to give you a stone cube which we need in order to complete this so we have got multiple dogs shooting at us we're just going to walk across you can basically just do in one straight line it's pretty pretty easy we're going to single jump up there and now we just need to make it past this dog it shoots a bit more often now don't go walking off this edge there is a platform that is going to come up to you and put you back down if you try and jump with this box all the way down, you're going to take damage. That means it's going to drop the box automatically and it could also destroy the cube that you are holding. So we're going to put that small stone in there. We're going to activate the lever and it's going to recognize that if we got it correct. 
to me, that was the harder side. Now, on to the easy side. So yet again, we're going to activate the button. It's going to give us a wooden uh, box. And now it's all to do with single jumps. All these are positioned so you can do a single jump on every single one of them. Just like I have done right there. If you want to be a bit more careful, you could probably put this uh, box down and then lift it up to you as soon as you're in a higher place. But all of them are positioned to do a perfect single jump. So once you are up here, get your checkpoint, there is a place to heal, but we want to put this box where this crystal is located and the lever is, so we're just going to put that down, activate the lever, and it's going to do that, and as you can see, all these do glow, that means you have done it correctly, then we're going to activate this button and it's going to give us a small wooden box. Now we can double jump with this small wooden box. So what we're going to do, we're going to double jump across this platform and then double jump on this platform. This is where it gets a tiny bit more difficult because it comes down to timing and everything. If you get hit by these spikes, you are automatically going to drop the box and it is going to take damage and it's just going to break. So you need to time that perfectly and they are set up so you can time it pretty darn good. And there is quite a long period where no spikes show up whatsoever. This one, you can just wait for these spikes to go down if you want, but if you're more confident, you can just double jump across to this where I am right now. Yet again, this is all about timing, and then boom, we can just jump straight from here. Yet again, there is going to be a platform that is going to come up to you. It might take some time, but yet again, don't rush it. Because if you do take damage and drop this box, it's more likely going to break. And then you'll have to do the whole thing over again. Once you have brought it down, though, we're just going to put it in its position. And then activate the lever. So we're going to activate it. The crystal should go up, saying it's correct. And boom, that is the end of the vault. So, there you have it, mortals. This is the end. As soon as you break this middle piece, this, it is all over. But also, um, if you're uh, far as long with the vaults as I am, after this one, I'm pretty sure this is my like my sixth vault, Hades will appear again and just talk through a bunch of, um, I don't know, stuff to do with the storyline. I don't really pay attention to that, but just to keep that in mind. So, Mors, I hope you enjoyed. I hope it helps you out, and I'll hopefully see you in the next video.